Theme song. And so we return to the restaurant, the little restaurant that could. It has survived for uh, uh, four, four days? Two, two, I don't know. It survived for a couple of days already in the last episode. I mean, you've seen how long it survived. Just watch the other episodes. Uh, but we are still on our way, and we are still very precariously leaning on failure. We cannot have, just to remind you, a negative balance at the end of the day. We cannot hit any employees break point and the health inspector grade which this one seems to be the hardest for me especially if and when we get a large restaurant uh i believe he the health inspector goes around and inspects 10 objects and if they're not all clean like each one that's clean you lose a point i don't know if there's any critical failures like if the fridge is clean do you lose three points or anything like that i would love to hear uh from the developers on that if they can <laughs> tell me so uh yeah again not 100 percent sure what's gonna go on uh, as our restaurant gets bigger and like he happens to find f the five chairs I haven't cleaned yet It seems like it's also split up between maybe like he a couple of things in the kitchen then a, then the bathrooms then a couple of tables So it's random which is kind of intense. You have to basically keep the entire thing Absolutely clean to stay above that five which is I mean whatever it's fine. I guess uh, I think at least that's how it's you know done now your comments Maybe we'll save this restaurant. So, for example, uh, Anna B over here is uh, saying that this area here, not very useful. I could move this wall forward, and then that would give me a three space wherein I could get some more stalls in here, and I could create sort of a stall structure. So, I have a thousand doubloons, and I have a hope and a prayer, and a wish and a dream, and a... You know what I mean? So so what I'm going to do is a couple of things. Thing number one, expand this bathroom. Try to get like a bunch of stalls in here, maybe three, and then some sinks on this side. Uh, one, two, three, and then some sinks. Oh, what do I need to do for that? Okay, and then the other thing I'd like to do, and this is a lot of people are saying here, is that my four tops are killing me because at a busy time, I'll have two people sit down at a four top, and that kills off two chairs. But I also want to stay on top of my cooking. So I'm going to add potentially a bunch of two tops here. Um, uh, who is the person that... I'm just going to scroll up in my comments here, which also scrolls up in the game. Um... Uh, Oh, Brian B says, I don't know if, a, if fries can be grilled, but I'm going to assume someone in America has tried grilled fries. Yeah, I'm sure somebody has tried grilled fries. I mean, that's basically just like pan fries or like, um, you know, hash browns, basically. Uh, OK, where's the one? Where's the one? Uh, Psalms said that. Yeah, it was the one saying that the, the four tops are killing me. But somebody, I'm sorry, I, you know what, your comment was lovely, I can't see it right now, and it's, it's just a lot of scrolling in for the people watching the video, but basically, they said, if I move the aquarium over, I could probably get another four top here, but I also may even just put a two top here. Uh, this isn't the best area, because we're getting kind of close to the kitchen, but uh, maybe we will anyway. Okay, so, let's get started here with the build wall. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and build this wall out here. Really zoomed in on that one, didn't I? Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and move this bad boy over to like here. Let's move this also just as equally bad boy. Um, and let's put this out here for now. Let's grab this and give it a little rotation. So I do see what your comment was there. Uh, I believe it was Anna and, and some others. Um, I'm just not sure if this space is the right space for what we're trying to do here, but let's, let's go, let's go. So this gets us at least this many stalls, but really the problem is, and this is exactly what I, I, I hate to be like an I told you so guy, but this is exactly what I was saying. Like, I still need to expand the bathroom this way just to get three in here. So if I had done three separate little bathrooms, that might've been easier than this. This is like going to be kind of crampy. But to get the to sinks in and everything, uh, to get those in, I need a little bit more space here. I'm just not sure that this is the most efficient uh, version of our restaurant. And 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 you know what? That's making me feel. I love your comment. I do, but it's making me feel like I'm like I'm a pretty smart boy. I guess is what I'm saying. I feel like a pretty smart boy. I mean, we could go. Uh, it's just so tiny though. I just don't like how tiny it is. Let's go with her suggestion, okay? Because ultimately we love our people who give give me help. We're gonna go with, ugh, it's getting real, a little crampy in here, isn't it though? Real Krampus, a real Krampus situation. Um, what kind of doors do we have? There's gotta be some like, uh, are there any bathroom doors still? Stall doors? 
That must be a different game. I remember there being stall doors. A two-way metal door is as close as a... There's a swing door, which is not ideal for <laughs> poopers. I'm gonna go for just solid doors then. Get some solid doors in there. So this like a, it's, it's basically just a lot more doors in our bathroom, you know what I mean? But now we can at least do this. And I don't know if that gives us like a slightly better duplicate. Okay, how much money have I spent? Okay, 300 doubloons already. Does this give us a better, a slightly better? Yeah, okay, so it does split up the toilets. It moves, the, so that's one advantage is that the entire little bathroom is no longer red. So now what we have is a little green space, a little spot where people are happy. And what we need is like my cheapest lights here. So let's go for it. I mean, this light, 100, oh, this is cheaper. Four and four, we'll just go with that. It's kind of nice. Then we're gonna go with like a real cheap light. Where's like a nice cheap uh, wall light here? 70 bucks. Um, what does that look like though over there? Oh yeah, that's, I mean, it's whatever. Is it amazing? No, but it's, oh, 200 doubloons, that's all I have, oh boy. Okay, negative balance at any time? No, negative balance at the end of the day, okay. So the real trick here is, is that enough? Because I only have 200 doubloons. Um, okay, let's, let's go, let's move this. Let's move these plants over, i will just move over there. And let's go ahead and take, I think we can spend a little bit more money, but split these, excuse me. What are you, what is this all about? Why is it giving me guff? Don't give me guff. Don't be red. They're stuck on that table? Explain yourself. Well, now I can't sell you. That's gonna be annoying because 35 doubloons instead of the full amount. I wanna be able to move you to another table. Okay, 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 new plan, new plan, new plan, relax. Everybody, including me, relax. We'll go fancy wooden table right here for my two top. We're gonna grab this chair and move it over here. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. You can't just place it randomly, and I don't know why, but I think it's mainly because like these chairs are very cheap now. I can't, the resale value was bad, so they have to just be attached to a table. I'm not sure exactly why. You can't just, you know, put them separately in the, in the room, but. All right, duplicate. 24 doubloons left, but now we've got two two tops, two four tops, a three top. We could get some more in there, but we are out hard out of money. So I think what we need to do is see how we do for the day. Do I have like, how, how much is painting a wall? Is it gonna cost me lots? I'd love to paint this wall. Oh, it doesn't cost money. Okay, I, I, I was wondering. I just didn't, I couldn't remember if it cost me money or not. So I like this. And then I'm gonna go, you know what I'm gonna go? I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna do this in here. Because again, it doesn't pay. Or cost, rather. Although, what if I start the game and it's like, hey, remember all those tiles you just bought? Yeah, you owe me about a hundred grand for those. I'm gonna be real bummed. And then in here, some of this. This is classy. I mean, it's free, so might as well do it. There we go. Okay, and then uh, copy it across there. Okay, so we got like a pretty classy bathroom. It's maybe not quite the vibe. I kind of forgot a second ago that we were talking about doing a rustic restaurant. So this is like a little too fancy for a bathroom. But I think a lot of bathrooms tend to have this like faux super fancy tile because it is actually uh, surprisingly cheap, both in real life and in the game. So without further ado, let's begin this game and get going. Again, thank you for all your comments. Oh yeah, we gotta like, we should have copied over who it was. Let's put uh, Julie and, okay, let's copy that. There we are. Uh, thank you for all your comments, telling me how, you know, what, I'm the, that I'm one of the best streamers on the internet. <laughs> I honestly do think I'm probably a little, a little bigger than PewDiePie, and then maybe just a touch um, bigger than um, Mr. Beast as well. But, like, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're enjoying the video. I'm already nervous for this, this episode, to be honest. A college bus is coming by. That's not ideal. Okay, okay. So, as per the comments, it looks like we've got a three top. I don't know, this is becoming a four top. No, it's not. Okay, so that's a three top, which is sort of a waste of a, of a space of fours. I'm confused. Never mind. That person just walks slower. Trophy seated tables increase to one. Uh, oh, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, great. So we just need five five star reviews. Our restaurant is packed, immediately packed. Probably because of that college bus, not ideal. Uh, I better turn this overlay off, that's annoying to me. Okay, okay, 
Okay, good. Um, again, that noise is a little stressful. I don't know that we need to... Oh, thank you. Uh, make that noise when somebody does something well. Uh, but maybe just the notification noises, you know, scare me. Customers will be willing to pay more with David Crawford's... Oh, no, wait. That's not who's getting the level up. It's uh, this person. Vito. Okay, Vito. Extinguish fires faster. Happier when all tables are occupied. Real pro. We'll cook faster than the rest of the day if a critical failure happens. Uh, I see. I'm going to go... Uh, let's go with this because at some point, um, these restaurant. Yeah, see, we're gonna have people getting on his nerves and stuff like that. But if all the, if the t restaurant is full, this is for this is better. Okay, we got an ingredient discount, which is good because we're currently a ways in the hole here. So, the more ingredients we buy, the worse things are gonna get. Um, Archandar, one of my favorite commenters on the on the website, one of my favorite members in the world. Uh, <laughs> he commented, "Have you ever tried using a real world recipe for the menu?" Uh, and I love that. I don't think I'll be able to get to that today, but I think what we should do... Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I think what we should do is, like, yeah, let's let's pitch in some, some menu items. I think what I might even do is, like, think about, like, what do I like the most? Clean that table, please. Um, at a restaurant near me, and then let's see if I can recreate it. I might do that, you know, next week, because I haven't... I started recording this episode, and I was like, oh, I should look up what goes in my favorite... Uh, oh, boy. Lettuce wraps. How much money? Do, no, I have minus 122. Cannot perform grill. Why is that? Where's my cleansman? He's cleaning it. He's cleaning it. Okay, but that's going to slow us down. Uh, where's where's our most troublesome spot? It looks like th uh, this table or this table seem to be doing the worst. But that's okay, because I think we're going to see some meals up here soon. Philip Ryan's giving that a clean. Yeah, having doubles of all these things would be good. Um... We're just not there yet. Now, what are you? What are you doing? You're going on a break. Okay, that's fine. Vito, why don't you give that? Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah deliver that. Wow, he just kind of did that. Okay, that's good. I thought I thought he was gonna just ignore the work he had. Let's get you to clean that then. I know Vito hates cleaning anyway, so go clean that fridge because because of his break here. We've got some double decreasing thoughts here. I'm paid less than I deserve. Let's give him a little bit of a raise. Not much. It didn't really do anything. <laughs> So just wasting some of my money. This is bad. We have not had any uh, people pay up yet. But we actually have three toilets now. So that's going to move our customers out a little faster as they move their things out a little faster. <laughs> so this is the first two going in. Hopefully they spent a lot of money because I, this is getting bad. This might be a situation where we have to sell some things to make it through the day. I'm not 100% sure. I have to sell one of the toilets, like one of these whole structures, just to get back in the green. Um, I'm not sure if we're making enough money. It really seems like we're... This table is having a bad go of it right now. Wait, why weren't you... Oh, she was waiting to clean it. Okay, there we go. First table. We're at minus 191. Our first table is... Relatively happy. Very good, and they didn't pay us very much. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, Vito, I want you to clean that table before you even talk to them. Vito? Clean the t Oh, Richard was already on it. He reserved it already. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, it seems like it's moving really slow. Is that just me, or are they just cooking super slow? Oh, no. Where's this dish? Where's this table, I mean? Like, they are not finishing recipes. We gotta, we gotta get, get to the bottom of this. Yeah, there's all these re these are there all these dishes just sitting here. Customer group left, I'm aware. Why? Can I see the window? Like, what's going on here? We got this this one top here that's not getting served. Okay, I heard the ding. Another customer group has left the lineup. We're about to lose quite a lot of customer groups, actually. To be honest, that's going to take our popularity down a little bit. I don't know why the cooks are exceptionally slow today. And we have a breaking point already with David Crawford. I'm getting paid less than I deserve. There we go. There we go. Hopefully that's going to reverse. We got another ding. We got another dish in. Very close to the end, which I might add. The customer group has left. That's dragged our thing down. Yeah, it just felt... It feels like things are going really slow in the back. I need to understand more about how that works. We're still not in the green, mind you. That's also not ideal. Customer ordering two dishes. 
Okay, we're kind of back on top of things. We've got one customer that just wants Aunt's Enid, Aunt Enid's summer pork boil. I don't know if I can do this in the middle of the day, but I might do because, like, look how full this restaurant is. So, like, what if we go in here? We go, uh, sometimes I double click the ignore global markup and you'll see a price adjustment happen. Like that, it adjusted it down. <laughs> so I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna get that back up to 30, 175. We're gonna ignore this and go up to like 22. Ignore that, go up to 26, 29. Let's get this guy up a little bit. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't know what this, why is this red? What is this saying here? Thoughts, I can't wait, I'm so hungry. Doesn't like chair, low standards though, so that should be a good review regardless. And it looks like we are kind of on top. We have one. Okay, I see. This is kind of the opposite. I thought, okay, when that gets full, that means they're about to, uh, to, to freak out on me, I guess. So it feels like maybe it was a slow start to the day, I guess. I'm not sure, but it seems like maybe they're humming now. They got a lot of things cleared out of the, uh, out of the order thing. And then Richard's just like standing here. Richard, what are you up to? I'm gonna pause the game here. You're a fryer and a grill guy. And we also have, we have at least two people on all things. So they really should be focused up, but eventually I think the dream would be to get, uh, you know, doubles of everything. Oh wait, okay, Vito. I know you hate cleaning. You've got a bit of, you've got some, you have some, you know, mo you know, you have some morale. We'll spend a little bit of morale to make sure this table gets clean. Oh, he's cleaning it real slow. Oh, it's the chair that's dirty. Okay, Vito, one more, one more. Go clean that chair for me so we can sit some more people there. Nothing I love was on the menu. Aunt Enid's summer boil was cooked perfectly. My compliments to the chef. She was like, I didn't like any of them. I didn't like anything on the menu, but that summer boil was amazing. <laughs> I was like, well, what do you want from me? Okay, we've got uh, this gentleman here is still kind of like freaking out. He's a minus six now. This is really going to affect his enjoyment of the meal, I think. And my concern is like, what does this mean? He, I think he's a reviewer. This could be bad. Okay, another dish is up and ready. Gets brought out to the one top. Yeah, the one tops, like I've been told, the one tops are killing me. And it is 1722, and we're still, we've been in the red all day. So these tables have to get us in the green before they leave, because we're about to have all of these people walk home. Let's see if we can't get, we've got till 19, I think, to get, yeah, to get tables sat. I feel like we should almost like, is there a way to force this one to be cooked? Prepare meat and fish. So what is this person ordering? He's ordering the meat and fish. Where is this guy? It's weird that they kind of, well, here he is. No, that can't be him getting his order submitted. I think he's being, because it's being cooked. I'm so confused. Where's his meat and fish? The dish is ready. Okay, okay, he's getting served. All right, I was trying to figure out how to like race to get his done. There we go, that puts us in the green, but just by a little bit, and we are able to seat another three top out of four. So I do see what you mean, right? For example, this table here is killing us. That could be four people eating meals and everybody goes home for the rest of the night. We managed to recoup some of our popularity, which is nice. So that's okay. Um, we've increased the expensiveness of our dishes. So let's see if these, all of these people paying and leaving can keep us in the green. Otherwise we've lost the game today and we'll have to start again. Or I guess we could wait until we get really close and then sell some stuff. We're, we're just close enough in the red that I think we can be okay by selling like a couple of lamps or something. A food critic, mom's, okay. Uh, mom's fries up was cooked really badly. Excuse me. <laughs> He's got 48,000 followers. This is bad. Oh, our popularity went up though. Uh, popularity plus four. Is this six out of 10? Okay. I love the restaurant's aesthetics. It looks amazing. Everything was spotlessly clean and Vito served me quickly. I th okay, we'll take it. That got us up a little bit. Our popularity has gone up today, so that's not terrible. We're now at looking at 179 degloons green. Okay, then clean this. Vito, just do something. We got close to a breaking point today, but I think we pulled it through. And we've got two tables left. Uh, before everybody can go home, which means hopefully we can get a little more comfortably in the green, I think, before the end of this day. My staff stand around while these people tried to finish dinner, and they have finished it. We're up 300 doubloons, which, I mean, how much does that mean we made? It says we made minus $700. Uh, well, we're still in the green. We did. We made it. 
Oh, because renovations were a thousand to gloom. So I think we're actually doing okay for money. It'll be interesting to see what the end of day financials tell us. And then maybe we invest in another table or two, I think. Maybe some more two tops over here uh, could be a good idea. The other thing I want to invest, yeah, bring this wall out maybe, but maybe we bring this wall out. Maybe it's time to start expanding our kitchen. That seems to be the thing. All right, our rating went down by minus 9%. Not ideal. Today's popularity, 54 of 100%. I think that's... Yeah, wait, why is that plus 0%? This this is... This is plus more than 0. This is plus several percent. In fact, these are percentages. So it's gone up exactly... 10? No. Uh, 8? I don't know. Look, I can't do math. I'm just trying to say, like, it's gone up. Don't, don't ask me to do math. I got scared. Okay. All right. Yesterday. Minus, today was minus 890 doubloons. That's okay. How much do we actually make? Like, if we just try to, you know, not with the... So we made 1,000 doubloons. And we... Okay. So we're up a little bit. Not much, though. The employees are expensive. And that is making... Like, that is an improvement over the early access version of this game, I think. Uh, it's definitely gotten a little spicier. But, I mean, we are also playing it quite hard. Okay. So we have 196 doubloons here to spend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this table over, I think, because I don't think that affects the overall um, uh, the overall kind of layout. It doesn't affect their ability to get at the table. Then I'm going to go a thing here. I'm going to duplicate. That put us in minus 53 already. Oh. <laughs> How much did I spend already today? How did I spend another thousand? How was that so... Okay, wait, that might be... Does this cost my game? No, I don't think so. Okay, we're gonna get this other table in here. We've added another... Oh, okay, all right. We've added another table. We're gonna give that table to, the, to Vito. There we are. So things are gonna get considerably busier, I'm thinking, but hopefully considerably more profity. Now, have we had any suggested recipe items recently? Not really. Okay, so we might have to, like, think about adding some. And you know what? Let's do it this episode. Let's do it this episode. Let's add a new recipe, okay? I'm just gonna look one up. Okay, the restaurant is underway. We're well in the red again. Hopefully I can reclaim it. And the, I've looked up a menu item that I want to design today uh, because, again, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, I'm gonna have to run this simulation for a while to save up some money so we can do some upgrades. That is one thing I've noticed that this game doesn't have is, like, a loan structure, which could easily, I mean, a loan situation could be a great way to trap uh, early players, too, into, like, crippling debt and really give you that restaurant vibe. <laughs> So I think that would be fun. However, I have looked up the uh, dish that I want to create and add to our menu today. Let me just kind of do like a yeah, like a view like this. Okay, so today's dish that we're going to add to our restaurant, whatever we called our restaurant, I forget. We we changed the name because somebody gave us money for changing the name. Anyway, the restaurant, the menu item we would like to add today is called the Szechuan Chicken Lettuce Wraps. This is a family favorite from a restaurant that used to exist called Cactus Club, but it doesn't exist anymore because otherwise it would be copyright infringement if I made it for my restaurant, but we shall be adding Vito Spigioli's own take on the classic Szechuan Chicken Lettuce Wraps. Uh, now, menu editor, let's go into recipe editor here and let's create a new, so we're gonna go new recipe here. Uh, we're going to call this, uh, <laughs> this is how I'm going to talk for the rest of, maybe the whole channel now. Uh, this is going to be Szechuan. Szech. Chill, wait, chill Szech. Juan. I guess we should spell it right. Szechuan. Chick. Mm. Let us wraps. Now, here, okay, why am I naming it this? There are unsaved menus in the right. If you click all, yes, all unsaved changes will be lost. What? Sa okay, hang on. Save. This recipe contains errors and cannot be saved. Played it mode has no input. Okay, well, give me a Okay, I'll do it in a second then. All right. So the reason I'm doing this is because, remember, this restaurant is supposed to be pretty chill. It's supposed to be a nice, rustic, family-style restaurant. Not a very fancy one. So the sh chill Szechuan chicken lettuce wraps. The chicken is a great... You see that in a Denny's. You see that in a lot of places where it's just kind of like trying to make everybody calm down and have a good time. Okay? Now, what goes into that? Great question. Uh, let's start out with uh, chicken breast. All right, and we're going to deep fry it 
and uh, sweet and spicy Szechuan chicken, peanuts, wontons, Korean chili sauce, and spicy yogurt. Oh, no. Uh, are there wontons? No. Uh, uh, um, peanuts? There's no peanuts? Nuts of any kind? Coconut water? That's it? I don't think we can make these wraps. Okay, okay. Well, let's plate it over here. We're going to do... Okay, where's lettuce? So, okay, lettuce... It's going to be here, I think. Oh, prepare. No objects capable of this action. So we can't really do it in a prepare. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to grill the uh, lettuce. Once the chicken is deep fried, we're going to grill it with the lettuce and some other uh, spices and stuff. Uh, this is a bad... This is a, this is going very poorly so far, and I'm here for it. tex -Mec smoked paprika. We want some... Oh, no, it's chili powder because it was a chili sauce. So we need to do, we're going to do that in the deep fry section. And some jalapenos. This is going to be a spicy recipe, yes? Very, very spicy. Okay, let's move this grill section over to here because what I also want to do is add some other ingredients to it that are going to be pan fried. So I think, for example, we need some veggies in there. And so the veggies that are going to be in there, we get some garlic. We're going to sear that with some mushrooms. Which we're gonna have to order, by the way. So this is not, you know, already not going that great. Uh, what else could go in there? Some bell pepper, maybe some asparagus. Bell, bell pepper. What are you looking at with this dish? It's savory. It's seared. It's spiced. I feel like this is gonna be a good, you know, a good recipe. Okay. And then somebody asked, you know, can we do, you know, let's let's deep fry some butter. That was in one of the comments. Shout out to you. I, I'm sorry I don't have it up in front of me because I've got the menu item and looking in front of me. This is a very complicated dish, actually, already, so I'm not sure if this is a good idea. <laughs> this could be really bad. This could, like, destroy... Fast food? This is not fast. And it's gonna look... I want it to look like that, like a bowl. How is this fast food? This is not fast food. Quick time, six minutes. Cost to make 525. Apparently it's six minutes. Cook this. Save. Okay, now on our menu, here they are, 26, seven, cost to make, this is, okay, time to make six minutes, four minutes, four minutes. This isn't fast food, this is our longest dish ever. I don't know if this is a good idea, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make, this is gonna be at least 35 bucks. If you order this, it's $35, okay? And then food storage, what do we need here? Minimum stored, nine. Uh, we don't have enough room for that, actually. So we're gonna ignore that on these ones. And we're gonna go ones across the board because we don't have room to store even one of these things. Oh, that's not good. Let's take these minimums down to eight. One, 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 one. Now, here's why I think this is gonna be okay. There's 12 items here. I've taken the minimums down to eight. So we're gonna use up these ingredients and, and that will create more room, hopefully by the time these are ordered because it's 59 minutes from now. So there should be enough room here for two of each of these items, which we'll see if that's any good, but hopefully nobody orders this stupid dish. I might have to take this off the list. I think this was a bad idea. <laughs> Archandar, I like the challenge though, and I think we can, we can, you know what I might want to do is get to get familiar. Oh, clock toilet. Uh, minus 343. Why are we so in the hole here? Because nobody's paid for their meals yet. Okay. Is somebody on the toilet? Like on it as in like as a task? Richard's on it. Okay. Vito, can you actually... Can you go and... Oh, he's doing that. Oh, I'm not sure what he's doing. Okay, here, go and mop the floor. Let's get on top of that active disaster because a, a, like a, a, a health inspector coat could come in at any second. Ingredient discount, that's nice. There we go, there we go. And she's gonna mop that part of the floor and our active disaster is over. That's good. Running low on chicken breast. Can I prepare Szechuan, chill Szechuan lettuce wraps? And the delivery has been taken. Used yesterday, order amount used in recipes. Oh, 17 minutes, yeah, give me, it's, it's, there, it's coming, it's 17 minutes. Oh, let's get this table clean, please. Oh, they're gonna sit at it, so we can't clean it until, or no, Julie's on it. Okay, it got reserved, it got reserved, that's fine. How else are we doing here? We have all our tables filled, but there are a lot of singles today. There's a couple of, yeah, like, uh, smaller groups sitting around, which is not helpful, although we're now at minus 119, so we are getting there. Okay, we're about to get some uh, ingredients delivered here. Let's get in the downtime. Let's get you to clean that, please. 
Oh, he's cleaning it. Okay, good. Oh, I just see that fridge and I get so freaked out. Dry capacity is full. Can we get another shelf in there? I mean, I can't afford it, but... Uh, we can put another shelf right here. Uh, really, what I want to do, what I think the most important thing to do here is expand this restaurant out a little bit. Ingredient discount. Okay. Dry capacity is full. No bell peppers. Wait, are people ordering that massive dish? <laughs> Hang on. Uh, mom's fries up. I want to eat a summer pork roll. Mom's fries up. But nobody's ordering it. What? Japanese cleaning? What? Is it hot in here? Gerard is feeling faint? Okay, hang on. Everybody calm down. Richard Graham offered to teach your employee a Japanese technique that would make them perform cleaning actions faster. Uh, what? Uh, who are you? Okay, Philip Ryan, go and... I don't know what that means. Now, what are you telling me? Is it hot in here? A, a Japanese cleaning. <laughs> okay, wait, hang on. Who's my... Okay, hang on. You are my cleaner, right? Philip Ryan. He does a lot of cleaning. Okay, so once his break's over, you go talk to this weirdo who's, like, offering me a cleaning technique. Because that could be useful. Go talk to him. You guys keep cleaning. What, Richard Graham, what are you on about? Okay, uh, can you go talk to him and figure out what's happening? I learned a Japanese technique. If you pay me $2,000, share it with a team. This place is clean enough. Get out of here. And then you're, okay, this place is too hot. Maybe a free meal will refresh you? Fine. Okay, Jared's eating for free. Can't believe I'm doing that, but it seems to make sense. Okay, this is annoying to me that the drying capacity is full. Oh, we couldn't put the bell peppers. We can't We can't even add that to the menu right now because we do not have the space. Okay, okay, that's fine. I want to put a shelf in here, but I think things are going to get way too crowded if I do that. We could get rid of this door, honestly. If I went into build mode, I mean, I can't afford a shelf right now because we're not making any money. Running low on chicken breast. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Oh, probably because we're using it in a lot of recipes, are we not? Okay, that dish being delivered. Where's uh, Where's Richard? What's he up to? He's just cleaning tables and stuff. Okay, that's fine. And and his name is Philip, by the way. Okay, the fridge is being cleaned. Good. We're busy. We're starting to make up our deficit here, our money deficit, but not very quickly. Running low on butter. Okay, it's those. Okay, good. Okay. So many little notifications and interactions popping up. My goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Um, 22 minus 126. Okay, we're getting back in the green. But yeah, honestly, I'm going to have to let the simulation run a little bit before we uh, uh, are able to kind of return to this game, the save game, and kind of build out some more. But things seem to be, seem to be moving a lot faster in the kitchen now, I will say. If I had enough money, I could go get ourselves a shelf, I think. I'm just a little concerned that we're a little too out of money still. Can you guys be done? Oh, yeah, come back from the bathroom. This two top. What we should do is, like, turn people away if they're just two tops, maybe. Oh, wow, we got another... A single? A single person in right before the closing mark. That's going to cost us a lot of money, actually. That actually did kill us. So I see what people are saying, but it's like, well, maybe we need a bunch of single tables. Actually, yeah, that could be a way to do... Because, like, this is a huge waste of money and time. Oh, and it's rush hour now. Wait, why is rush hour in a random time every time? Okay, we have one hour left to get some people in. A health inspector's here! This could be it, folks. This could be it. Vito, clean that table right now. I don't care if you're upset. What else have we got? You? Okay, yeah, clean the floors or whatever. Health inspector's going to look at this table, or this this toilet. Okay, wish us luck, folks. Okay, he looks at the toilet. Julie's cleaning the other toilet. Like, surely he can see that there's a lot of cleaning going on. Minus 70 now. He's looked at this table, which I think is fairly clean. Somebody's coming around. Oh, he's walked all the way around the restaurant to clean this table. Where's my health inspector? Oh, he's doing another toilet. But Julie had just recently cleaned that one, so that should be okay. We should be able to stay above our five. Dishes are being delivered. We're at minus 70, and we are 1844. Ah, oh, this single never got dealt with. I don't even think the order's been taken yet on this single person. That was a total waste. 
Running low on food. Health inspector's looking at every single toilet. So yeah, that's definitely something to remember if we fail this one. We're low on running ingredients. Health inspector's here. Minus two, of course. Real pro. Uh, having a break. Other employees will make them happier. No, let's add a random love skill. Oven. Okay, great. That'll be good for later. Oh, hang on. Somebody... Oh, 10 out of 10. Okay. Popularity boost. Thank you, Kevin. He did, I was like, oh no, he's going to go see this. Philip, I don't care what you're doing. Clean that right now. Then clean other stuff. That's our only fridge. Minus 69. Nice. Might have to sell some stuff. Everybody's gone home for the day. This lady, Stacy Patterson, sucks. Sits at a four top at the end of the night. That kills off a massive amount of money we could have made. Hopefully we end in the green, but if we don't, it will entirely be Stacy's fault. I wish we could rename her. Edit for free. What does that mean? Never mind. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> edit. I didn't know you could wait. You could edit people. Okay. So wait. Her. She's not even getting her meal delivered to her. So not only she could become a problem. Actually, this one here. Mom's fries up. It's being cooked. It got delivered. She's getting it delivered. Okay. We're fine. Minus 53. We're coming up on the end of the night here. We have one. We have three two tops left. And this idiot here who took up an entire table by herself. She's going to the washroom. She's going to pay us $24 or something for her mom's fries up. How much am I making off of that? Uh, mom's fries up. Our cheapest dish. One of our cheapest dishes. 31 bucks. Okay. Hopefully she likes it. Okay, that, that cost us a lot of money. <laughs> that was bad. We're at minus 81. We're about to lose the game and we're going to have to sell something. I think we'll have to sell off a table. 64 doubloons. We're back in the green because of that last table. This is our final chance at staying in the green because we're about to pay everybody a fairly hefty amount of wages in about 30 minutes here. This could propel us back into the red if we're not careful. What, what did they order? Three dishes. Not bad. That's a pretty decent order. We love them. Much better than the Stacy's of the world. It's delivered. I only see the two dishes, but I'm sure they're loving the third one that's in there somewhere. They probably put the third one in a Ziploc bag in their pockets or something. And they're just going to eat it on the way home. Stingy, not ideal. Big eater. And silent. Okay, well, I'll take it. Okay, we're at 10 doubloons. We just paid our we just paid our bills for the day. Vito, go clean this table here. Good work. Julie, go clean something. Find something to do. I sh you know what I should have done? Oh, very nice. Is I should have sent some people home. But that should do it. I believe we're uh, they're going to do some final cleanings. We could we should have sent these guys home. That could have saved us, you know, 20 or 30 doubloons. But we end the day in the green again. So not too bad. Our popularity has gone up uh, 55%. We're at a 3.75 star restaurant. We still haven't got a uh, 3.7 star restaurant. We still haven't got our five star reviews yet. That's kind of holding us back from getting our first reward. But the popularity being this high is definitely helping bring people in the doors. And I think we can definitely start kind of squeaking up those prices. I wonder with the prices, is it something where we will just see... So what did I spend on renovations? Yeah, I am not... Making, I'm making like 200 doubloons a day. This is going to be tough. So I got to up to those prices. And what I'm thinking with these prices is if I raise the price on some dishes like Aunt Enid's summer pork boil, if I raise the price on that thing, are we not going to... So if I ignore this the markup, it's $19. So what if it's like $29? Well, I guess what I'm wondering is... I see that I set the global markup. Oh, Interesting. I set the global markup, so what we could do is raise that to 550%. So anything above 550, there we go. Okay, I, I mean 81% popularity, do you know what I mean? Like I think we're in a place where we can really be charging more for things. There we are. Uh, and some stuff, honestly, some stuff's just going to be higher. Like the Szechuan chicken lettuce wraps, they need to be way more expensive uh, than other stuff because I don't want people to order it. <laughs> this thing I just made. Least served dish. Most served dish? What? No. <laughs> no way. So what I'm wondering is, will it affect popularity? It probably will make people upset that they're paying for that price, but will it also affect, like, I'd love to titrate, you know, squeeze down the amount of people that are coming into the restaurant. That's what I would love to, to work on. 
because uh, right now we just have so many coming in. It's like we don't need that many people coming into the rest of them. Okay, let's do this. Let's go ahead and grab this door and move it to here, which is not... Sa oh, actually, I know what we can do. Let's move this out here for a second. Let's move this door here. Let's go and grab this rat trap and just move it there for now. Let's go ahead and duplicate this shelf. And there, we got another shelf in here. Hit the M key to move it. There we go. The rat trap we can put in the corner, maybe? So let's move this over one and the rat trap there. There we go. So I don't know if that rat trap is useful there, but again, we've just created space for another shelf, which will be nice because uh, that was one of the big issues. Let's open our restaurant without too many changes because we're, again, starting at minus 200 de galloons in the hole. So I don't want any... Oh, I mean, that was another 300... Oh, yeah, shelves are so expensive. You buy one thing and your restaurant's already in the hole. Well, I've raised prices today, so we'll see how that goes. And... Uh, yeah, we should have created some one-tops, I think, would be nice. Uh, okay, let's order a few more of those ingredients. 195, so let's actually ignore... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, so... That's good. Now, chicken breast. Where is chicken breast here? Used yesterday 16, stored 11. Say it. We'll bring up 13. There we go. Okay, that's going to put us deeply in the red as we fill our coffers with uh, the ingredients to get through the day. But I think with uh, by charging just a bit more, we should be able to make up for some of that loss. Our first dish is out of the gate already. Okay, so as long as we don't have too much drama today, this should be our sort of repair shift. Looks like we're about to have a really big hit to our popularity and our ability to run our restaurant today because this group did not get their final dish, which means three of the dishes that were being made are also wasted. That was huge. That was a big problem, and I feel horrible about that. It also keeps us comfortably in the red. That was a very large dish. Another customer group is left from the lineup, so today is turning out a little worse. I would say we're almost down on some chefs, I guess. I'm trying to see. So it's like David here is... Let's see if we can figure out. Searing ingredients... Taking dishes to the order window. He brings it up. I think what's happening is our two chefs are able to keep up with a decent amount of orders, but they also are waiting for each other to get at certain parts of the uh, of the shelf here. Like, what's he doing right now? Current task, nothing. He was waiting for something. Okay. I mean, we're still getting orders out the door. Um, but yeah, like I said, doubles of things is kind of going to be the next priority, I think. Then seeing if we can hire another chef. Because right now we're just not making enough money to justify any more staff. We're coming up on the end of the day. We might be able to get into the green. We've got this person who looks like they're sick already. However, I see this. You can toggle critical, critical notifications in the game options menu. It's almost like it knew that I uh, didn't like some of the things. So, like, what if we go into our options here? And is it uh, gameplay? Uh, on, off. Oh, so it's just on or off. Okay. Uh, well, I just wanted to turn off critical successes. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. You have the option to turn things on or off, though, so that's good to know. So I've been watching for a little while here, and for some reason, Richard Graham is just, like, standing here. Maybe it's because of this. Doesn't slow down on tire. Uh, while cooking. Okay, let's do that one. Gain a bonus for cooking. I, so Richard just has, like, totally gone AFK for some reason. I'm not sure what's going on there, but I think he was even assigned to some of these dishes. David... No, I guess he was... Okay, I saw him assigned to some dishes, but he hasn't done anything for like an hour now. And I think I'm pretty close to being in the red here if uh, we pay any more people for their services. I think I gotta send this guy home. I'm gonna send him home tonight. I'm not sure what's going on. He's like an alien or something. Uh, send home. Yeah, get that guy out of here. I think we can finish the, the last dish with our one chef. And then as soon as he's done, I gotta send him home too. We got another clogged toilet. My goodness, this toilet is not... Uh, these, the toilets are not giving up on us today. Uh, so let's get somebody on that. Where's my Richard guy? Wait, did he not go home? Where? Is this Richard? He's still here. What is he happening? I don't think he went home. I think I sent him home. He didn't go home. I'm making sure he despawns this time. There we go. Get out of here. Oh, goodness. oh, hey, we got another uh, thing here. Lone Wolf uh, are the only employees assigned. Okay. Increases serving speed if only assigned to tables. Um, gets double the amount of experience in performing a hated task. Let's go master server, and let's make sure Vito is no longer on anything except for tables. 
There we go. Okay, he is now a master server. And we've got a, a speeding, uh, a speed boost out of him, so that's pretty good. But it looks like our next day, however uh, tentative it was, we have survived. We are in the green here. Uh, wait, uh, V, oh, hang on. Uh, who is this? Send home. Did I send the wrong guy home or something? Maybe that's what happened. Wait, who's this? That's David Crawford, and this is Richard Graham. I sent both of you, I sent one of you home. I'm so confused, I think he came back to work. Oh no, we got a clogged toilet right at the end of the night, come on. This is gonna, you're running me out of house and home here. Okay, you. Unclog that. Where are you going? Okay, she's gonna unclog it, fine. Okay, also what? I totally sent you guys home so many times, go home. For the rest of the day. Don't come back in an hour. Oh my goodness, that was weird. Okay, but we're ending in the green. We're ending in the green. We're not paying them for one more hour. We've made it another day. This day was bad. We have to have an actual day where we just make up for losses here. However, it looks like we're doing pretty good in terms of our earnings uh, because that was 300. So we've increased how much we are making. It's just that we can't be spending it anymore on things like uh, pesky things like, uh, you know, buying new stuff for our restaurant. Uh, last thing I'm going to do today. 50 bucks, that's all I'm spending. Let's start this day, and let's start making some money. So just so we know, this is what happens. He brings the order here, then it gets immediately um, submitted and assigned to David Crawford. It looks like we've got David on that. So David is over here. Let's close this, David. Open it staff panel. Uh, oh no, we don't need that. I wanna see like his orders. We might have to rename them just so that I'm less confused. Uh, I don't really see anything about like what he's up to except for here, taking ingredients. So we're never really sure like which thing he's actively working on, except he's he's working on one of these two now. And so far as I know, okay, David Crawford has done a good job of getting that initial prep done. Then he's waiting for a bit, taking ingredients, and he's getting, I think, the next dish up and ready and running, which also needs the oven, so he puts that on another spot or adds the ingredients, I should say, finishes it, and that's one dish done. So then he gets started on the second dish, the one he's been assigned to. In the meantime, we do have this guy doing nothing. Richard, again, doing nothing. Full of energy, paid less than I deserve, highest paid employee, okay. And finds David really inspiring. Well then do something. Hang on, is David not doing anything? Or has he just not been assigned anything? We've got a decent amount of tables here. So are, is one chef assigned to the entire meal? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So if David doesn't get assigned to a meal... So now, who do we have standing? Who's who's this person? Yeah, let's click on some, let's unhighlight. How do we unhighlight this gentleman? So that's Richard Graham. No, Richard Graham's standing still again. Why is he not assigned a recipe? We have a lot of customers going on. I've got one thing being cooked, another thing being cooked. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Yeah, okay, so they're each assigned to a dish, I think. Or they're, yeah, they're each assigned to a thing. David's now doing a bit of cleaning. Richard Graham is working on a dish. There's actually three going on right now, so they should they should both be quite busy. It looks like they're both doing things. I'm just not sure, you know, how efficient those things are that are getting done. Hopefully, they, hopefully they're going well. Let's take a look here. Nothing is getting too dangerous. This one is getting a little bit dangerous, but it looks like it's probably halfway through. Like, what? This is what I want to know. I want to be able to track individual things. Again, David, why are we cleaning? Right, because I believe he's assigned to a dish that's like getting close to being dangerously un unprepared. Where is it? And he did summer boil. Okay, hang on. He's going on a break now. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, David. <laughs> Richard, he's doing something. Another dish is up. Okay, that's not bad. I can never... I guess for some reason, Richard and David keep seeming like the exact same character, so I'm having a tough time tracking, like, who's doing something and who's useful and who's not. Let's take a look at their stats. Their stats are pretty good. They've been getting a lot of experience in these areas. 
So like fives all across the board for Richard Graham. David is threes across the board, getting better at stove. Um, and hopefully, it looks like they're humming along. I'll be honest. It looks like they're humming along to the point that we do have some servers who don't have a lot to do. And what this says to me is that they can manage more, like a, like a fair amount more tables before we need to worry about staffing up more in the front of house department. So I think what we could do is add like three or four more tables and then another chef and we might be okay. Again, here's Richard doing nothing. So if we check our order queue here, Richard, Richard, David, David. He's assigned to several things. Total tasks two. He must have just been waiting. I think it's just a matter of, yeah, we just don't, we, we don't have a lot of access points to things. So sometimes if something's getting cleaned, that's not accessible. His, he has two tasks, but he's also not doing anything right now. Ah, uh, because he was waiting for this dry storage shelf. I don't know why this is the one. Oh, because everything's stored in particular places. No, it's not. It's global. So I don't know why they ha he needed that shelf uh, to complete that order. But hey, we learn something new every day. And it looks like this restaurant is hopefully coming along, or this day is hopefully coming along a little better and leading us into more profit. Well, everyone goes home for the night on a much more successful day 10, I feel like is the day where this restaurant finally started to take off. I hope you found this one to be some truly solid content as I certainly enjoyed myself. And we will see you all in the next episode of Recipe for Disaster. Thank you.